This is Mike from Minimal 3DP. And today I'm going to share um, a new profile I put together for my SKR3 and Ender 5 Plus for Clipper. Um, I'm relatively new to Clipper. Um, in fact, this weekend was the first time I tried messing with it. Um, for anybody that my videos, I've spent a lot of time with Marlin. And I've decided that on my Ender 5 Plus, I wanted to see how fast I could really get things going with it. And supposedly Clipper can be much faster than Marl in every video and demo I've ever seen shows that. Um, main difference, or one of the main differences between Marlin and Clipper is Marlin's been around for quite a while, where Clipper's relatively new. Additionally, um, Clipper is moves all the processing to a Raspberry Pi and um, does very little processing on the actual board for the machine. Um, in my case, I run Octoprint for all my printers, and so I already had a Raspberry Pi sitting around. And um, so I went ahead and rather than use Octoprint, and, or I think it's Octoclip, um, I decided just to use Mainsail. Um, I like the interface a little bit better than I do um, Octoprint, at least in, in terms of Clipper. Um, although I still might go back. Um, and so what I've done is installed a version of uh, Mainsail on my Raspberry Pi, used the Raspberry Pi to configure the firmware for my SKR3 and installed that on the board and then i've gone ahead in here in uh, main sale and i've created the profile for the skr3 now um, as i mentioned using clipper requires having a raspberry pi um, of course raspberry pi is very hard to source right now now, Big Tree Tech has come out with a board. I think you can use a replacement of a um, of an, a Raspberry Pi. And there's some links out there, and I know some relatively new videos have just come out about that. Um, so you can Google that. Um, but here is my config I put together for my Ender 5 Plus SQR3. Now, one of the things I've done is I've gone ahead and really try to document the heck out of this thing. So that way, anybody that wants to use uh, this configuration can go through and um, sort of figure out what I did and customize it for your use case. So hopefully, you'll be able to figure out what settings I used that were under 5 plus and what were SKR3. And I did set up this up for dual Z, so I'm just going to scroll down here. Um, this is sort of universal for stepper X. Um, X, Y, Z, and C1 should be relatively universal. You're going to, in this direct underscore pin setting, you use the uh, exclamation point to switch directions in stepper motors. Um, here, in this max position and position end stop, you'll need to change those for your printer. I've set them for 360 for mine for the Ender 5 Plus. Um, Z, I've set the build height for 410, again, for the Ender 5 Plus, so you'll have to change that for your build height um, if you're using this for something other than the Ender 5 Plus. And again, the exclamation point to change directions. Um, down here, I've put, um, for the dual Z, a reference on where I figured out how to do that. Uh, the rotational distance right now uh, this is set for a BMG, and I put a link to a calculator so you can go ahead and figure out uh, what your rotational distance, which is equivalent to the E-steps uh, e steps you would use in Marlin. And literally, I just used my E-step value, plugged that into the calculator, and it gave me this rotational distance. And that actually has been pretty good. The um, extruder was run the wrong way, so I went ahead and and use the exclamation point to change the directions. Make sure my sensor type was correct. 
um, for my thermistor. ZSAF homing, I set that up. Um, so I split the difference to figure out what the XY of the bed, 360 by 360. Split that in half is 180 by 180. BL touch is all set up. I've used this uh, using the sensors um, on the board. Here's a reference to the Clipper documentation for BL Touch. Another reference. Uh, I'm sorry, right here. If you're setting this up from scratch, you'll need to uncomment this. Um, the Z offset needs to be a positive value. I just set it big enough where when I uh, calibrated the bed, um, everything stayed positive. The minute you go negative on this offset, which is different than how it is in Marlin, um, it'll start throwing errors. Um, now, I also uh, set up by one of my probe to do multiple samples, and I use two different references, one on Reddit and uh, the Voron firmware. Set that up so I'm using two samples and doing tolerances for determining uh, that, and that's using this mesh. But the one thing I found was on my particular hot end, the uh, offset for the probe is negative 25 by negative 25. On the max mesh, you need to add those numbers to your max mesh and make sure they're not bigger than your bed size. I've had, had that happen for me, and it took me forever to figure out why I kept getting errors, uh, particularly on the last uh, couple changes. Now, on the, uh, on the sensor type, I just pulled that directly from uh, my reference here for the Ender 5 Plus. So use that. I set up the part cooling fan, the hotbed fan. So part cooling fans on fan zero, hot end fans on fan one. I'm including, since I'm using main sail, I'm including the main sail settings. Uh, determined or an install what I need to connect to. The uh, screw, uh, Tilt adjust lets you um, work with your bed leveling screws. And if you do this right, it'll actually tell you uh, how many turns to turn the screws um, in order to level the bed, which again is a pretty neat feature Z tilt. And I believe that's equivalent to uh, the dual Z with uh, almost like tramming. And then I've went down here and added some uh, macros, and I pulled these from a variety of sources. I put references here. Also, I put a reference to what you need, what you need in Cura for start code. Now, all of these, these, uh, the only uh, things that need to be changed here is if you use different types. I use 205 and 65, so that's fine for me. And I went ahead and added those. So I have the steppers down here. I using TMC 2209s. So I have, um, I changed the extruder one over to Z1, so that's the duals. And lastly, here's some settings that I calculated, that were calculated, that were auto-generated. Now, if you use this profile, you'll need to uh, delete this and uh, basically start from scratch. Now, to start doing these, up here at the top, I have the various configuration checks and calibration checks and the links that I found. Um, and I also put a to-do section of, of different things I want to check and, and try um, as I'm exploring this. That's the long and the short of uh, my Clipper configuration for the SKR3 for uh, my Ender 5 Plus. If you have any questions, please uh, hit me up in the comment and feel free to subscribe. Um, I'd like to get the conversation going. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to contact me and I'll try to get back to you as soon as I can. I, I have been doing pretty good. Um, I usually get back with everybody, usually within 24 hours. I almost forgot to mention that um, the configuration is available via my GitHub site. Um, I've gone ahead and loaded that over to GitHub. If you look, there's an Ender 5 Plus SKR3 folder, and I'm going to try to keep that config updated. So as I make changes, you should be able to uh, copy that and use it. So thanks again for your time.
Um, this is Mike from Minimal 3DP. Um, again, covering uh, the configuration you need for Clipper for the Big Tree Tech SKR3. Um, I appreciate your time. Hope you have a good day.